Today, we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of Visual Studio shortcuts. As we go, keep a count for the ones that you already know. And if you know more than 15, I'd consider you a Visual Studio Pro. In the comments, make sure to drop your favorite shortcut and we can showcase it in the next video. Don't forget to check out all the resources in the description, like and subscribe for more fun Visual Studio content. And let's dive right in. One of the most used ones is most likely gonna be Control KC, which will comment a line. And then to undo that, you can hit Control KU. Additionally, if you find yourself having a lot of code that is not formatted correctly, we can hit Control KD, and that will format our entire document for us. Now for code navigation and search, we can invoke code search by hitting Control comma, and we see that we have code search appear for us here as well. And then in here, I can type in anything that I'm looking for. Like, let's say I'm looking for code that has the word tag in it. I have now get definition by tag, test data generator, a couple of things in here as well. Now I can also hit control Q and that brings us up to feature search, which we see is actually right next to code search. So I could have just selected that, but I wanted to show you the shortcut for that. And this is pretty straightforward. It will just allow us to search for features. So something I do here, I can type in font size, change the font size. Oftentimes when I record things like that, I want like a larger font size. Uh, and then I can quickly change that from here. Also, if we need to jump to a line, I can hit control G and type in the line number and it will take me there. I can invoke GitHub Copilot with the alt forward slash. And we see we get this little ask Copilot box. If there are any snippets that I want to insert, I can do control KS. And you see here I am shown i'm shown a list of snippets that i can use if i scroll through here i have a chat if a region class for for each you select that and it will insert that for you pretty handy if i would like to rename something i can select it and hit control r control r twice and you can rename something and you can also hit control space in here and it will generate some rename suggestions for you. Pretty handy because we all know that naming things can be pretty hard. Some other snippets that could be pretty useful if you hit, if you type P-R-O-P -P and then tab tab, that will create a property for you that you can fill in. You can also do CTOR tab, and that will create a constructor for you. If we want to delete a line, I can hit control L, but take a look at the clipboard. If I bring up the clipboard, we see that the line has been copied into here. So I'm going to control Z this. And if I hit control shift L, it will remove the line, but it won't go into the clipboard. Pretty useful in some cases. If you'd like to move a line up and down, you can hold down Alt and then the up and down arrows and you can move that line whichever direction you'd like. In my code, I have a couple of breakpoints. We've got 35, 51, and we could have more as well. And let's say I want to see them all. I can hit Control, Alt B, and this will bring up all my breakpoints as you see here. We have a couple of options in here. I can actually remove them all with this little X if I want to, but I can also close this here. And without being in that window, I can hit Control Shift F9 and it's going to ask me, do you want to delete all breakpoints? And I can hit yes and then they are all gone. If I want to collapse my code, all of it, I can hit Control M O. And then if I want to expand, say, just this section, Control M M, or I can expand everything with Control M P. 
I'd like to give a big shout out to Lee Englestone, who shared the show white space shortcut. Control R W. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Control R W. Ah, and we see we are now shown the white space here. Pretty great for formatting. All right, that's all the shortcuts I have for this video. But like I said, drop your favorite one in the comments and I will make sure to include it in the next one. Were there new ones in here? Did you know the majority of them? Let me know and I will see you all in the next video.